What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So I'm talking about Jeepers Creepers 4 in this video here again today. Jeepers Creepers Reborn. And yes, as you see here in, your th in the thumbnail, this is not a... This is not a joke. This is very true and it's unfortunately real and I should have known because of some of the things I was being told by other people who were expecting to be involved in this project. Jeepers Creepers 4 Reborn, it is actually stuck in legal trouble and it's been stuck in court ever since March of last year. This has been going on since March of last year and I'll get into a little bit of more of why that's ironic after we read some of these things that pertain to the court hearing itself and the trial that's going on this is still going on it's not been settled which explains the lack of news this is myriad pictures versus infinity films holding llc and the case involves an alleged breach of right of first negotiation and last refusal for worldwide distribution rights to subsequent production of the horror movie franchise jeepers creepers cross defendant myriad pictures alleges in the complaint having a contract Alleging in the complaint having a contractual right of first negotiation and last refusal for worldwide distribution rights to the subsequent productions. Cross defendant further alleges that defendants produced and filmed Jeepers Creepers 4 without cross defendant's knowledge or involvement, even though cross defendant had been working with defendants to develop the sequels throughout 2018 and 2019. Once the film was shot, defendants purported to extend to cross defendant a right of last negotiation, which was ill which was illusory because defendants had already granted distribution rights to cross defendants competitor screen media so screen media is again in some shady activities and what's funny here to me well before i get into that the the people involved in this case are coming up and again this is all pertaining to jeepers creepers 4 and the fact that it was shot without knowledge of one party so the people involved in here, you see Oro Film Distribution, Infinity Films Holding, Chicken Soup for the Soul Entertainment, associated with Screen Media. Uh, you see a JCP, JC4 IP LLC, Independent Frame LLC, JC4 IP LLC, Oro Film Studios, Jake Seal, uh, Kirk DeMarco, Screen Media Ventures, Michael O'Hoven, Myriad Pictures. Now, What's interesting about these things is that if you actually search some of these people on Google and just type lawsuit next to some of their names, you'll see that these people have a history of being caught up in things like this. What's ironic here and what's so funny is that this movie was announced officially back in February of last year through a variety article where we learned that Jeepers Creepers Reborn was supposed to be coming out in fall of 2021. Now that was in February. This has been going on since March. Now, the thing about that is prior to that announcement in February, it was in 2020 where this stuff started to gain some momentum, where we first started hearing that Jeepers Creepers 4 was in development. And if you recall, Kirk D'Amico, who is like, I think, the head of Myriad Pictures, Myriad Pictures, who, again, is has been involved with the Jeepers Creepers films since the second one. They were involved with the third one. I never really caught on to the fact that they weren't factored into the fourth one, which should have raised a red flag to me. But Kirk D'Amico, when asked about it being in development in 2020, when those rumors started up, he said that there was no truth to it. He said that there was no truth to it. Now, knowing what it seems is going on, it seems that 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 explains why he said that, because one party, Myriad Pictures, who I guess needed to know certain things before they went ahead and did this movie, did not know anything. So that's why this movie is now caught in this legal case. That's why we haven't heard anything about the movie. That's also probably why the movie was able to be shot without anyone knowing about it, given the fact that they didn't bring back anyone memorable. They didn't bring back Jonathan Breck. Gina Phillips wasn't in it. The Creeper does not look the same. A completely different makeup you had your own truck that you created that explains that too because i remember the creeper truck owner i did a video also many many years ago like a two years ago at this point maybe where i stated that maybe we would get a fourth movie in 2021 for the creepers 20th anniversary and that was because one of the creeper truck owners had put out a video telling us that jeepers creepers 4 was coming and that we just needed to be patient that's because these truck owners the people who have their trucks used in these movies were being told to keep their cars and their trucks in shape just be prepared and keep keep taking care of them so then when the news came out that the fourth film had been shot they were all surprised and taken back by that. Jonathan Breck was taken back by it. Nobody really seemed to know how this came about when they were being told 
different things more importantly i'm talking about the creeper truck owners who were supposed to be involved with this production but now it seems that we know why because somebody went ahead infinity films went ahead and put stuff together got a movie produced without the knowledge of the other party myriad pictures who again has been involved with the producing of these movies since the second movie and it seems that they were going to be heavily involved with not only producing a fourth movie but they were planning to i guess produce a fifth film but infinity films went ahead and just for whatever reason left them out of the negotiations didn't tell them about the production that was going on and this movie was shot in secrecy this is also probably why we got told at one point i know i got told at one point to delete certain things not to share stuff everything was being overly secretive this is probably why Timo can't comment on anything and I'm not even all the way that convinced that Timo himself doesn't know about this because it was all just too too bizarre to come across this and it kind of explains why this movie is up in the air the way it is we don't have a release date we don't have any real things going on that's because it's being held up in court and that's also because of the fact that for whatever reason they went ahead and did this movie without the knowledge of myriad pictures and i don't really know who has the who has the advantage right now in court um i think it's myriad pictures but it could be infinity films and screen media and all those tied up with that that are coming to defend themselves against the plaintiff in this case myriad pictures i don't know what's going on my only thing here that i want to say is that i feel so bad for jonathan brick because once this is all said and done i don't think we will actually get this movie maybe we do maybe we don't i would hope that this movie doesn't come out at this point and the only reason i say that is because it seems that this movie was done underneath the table very shadily that's not even a word i think shadily <laughs> uh, sneaky Jonathan Brecht needs to be the one back in the role as the creeper when this gets put put to rest if Victor Salva needs to negotiate something else where they can get away from screen media and all these all this drama with the people related to screen media again just google those names and put lawsuit next to it you'll see that there's a there's a few instances where these people have had similar things come up infinity films being one of them caught in a lawsuit and screen media always in these sneaky things going on and these copyright infringements and our property this it's basically like a fraud case this whole jeepers creepers thing but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below i'll actually leave a link to it in the description so you can look at the case if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post a case you never miss the video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video